Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP Crystal Reports. And in this particular video, we'll learn how to create a simple, a basic SAP Crystal Report using blank report template. So there are a few prerequisites, like you need to have SAP Crystal Report software installed in your PC. You need a PDF that has to be replicated. And certainly you need to have basic knowledge of Microsoft Paint. So in Microsoft Paint, we have tools via which we can create simple boxes, simple text boxes, right? The same skills we have to implement in SAP Crystal Report. So the steps to create SAP Crystal Report is very simple. You need to create a new blank project, then copy your design, and then export the project. That, that's it. Before jumping into actual creation, just uh, we'll have take we'll take an overview of this particular article where we have written all the steps that are required to create SAP Crystal Reports. So we'll add the article in the description of the video so you can go through it. And uh, you can see in the screen that we have created a test report form. And this particular form, we have an icon here. We have the name of the company and we have the application name. And we have more fields like date, type, registration number, form two. So these are the fields that we have to define in the report. But the values will come from database so as of now we are not going to connect database so we'll hard code these values but ultimately the right way is that you connect your sap crystal report to database and that database brings these values perfect so we'll jump to the sap crystal report so once you install your software and open it up it will open like this and you can click on file new and blank report and since you don't have any repository, any connections, you just click on OK and ignore the part that um, a connection is required. So even you can close this workbench and field explorer. And this can be left like this. And then we have something called report header, page header, details, footer, and page footer. So these are sections divided by by default, but ultimately you can use the way you want. You can expand it the way you want. Like this so if i go back to my report design so i see this is a header right and in the header we have one two three three different rows and within the rows we have different sections so if i jump back to my crystal report so i can expand it like this and then i can insert whatever i want so i can insert a grid you know box something like this so let me insert a box A box is there and actually i need three boxes right one by one so i can minimize it like this and i can just copy and control v paste like this and i can join it together Fine. If I come back, so we have one more particular box below this box. Like this. So we can always adjust, you know, we can expand it like this, push it above like this, and create our own structure. And once you're done, you can add more sections. Like you can add a line like this and the icon so the icon can be imported or you can just copy and paste suppose in my drive i have something here the logo just copy and paste it here drag and drop it is already pasted so you can just put it here and this logo will appear as per the requirement and then we can add our hard coded text. So let me insert more uh, fields. Line I have added here like this. And I can insert a text. So this you can explore here. So a lot of fields are added here, right? So if you see a text object is here, I can just click here. And the text object is company name. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So we have the company name inserted here. So let's copy and paste the structure, this particular text, and I can paste here. Perfect. So like this, you can always keep adding your own fields. We have a lot of limitations in terms of design. So you can use the boxes, you can use a line, you can use a text. And uh, with more fields coming to picture, you can also insert, you know, the cross tab. You can insert the mathematical queries. And in case you have, uh, you know, database already connected, you can also insert something called OLAP grid, where you can create grid using the database source. So once you are done with uh, creation of a report, so you can always save your report or export a report in form of, uh, uh, you know, predefined Adobe Acrobat PDF. So we don't need that. We need Crystal Reports. We need the RPT file. So we will click OK. And uh, now this RPT file can be used by a developer, to, you know, to change the structure in his own way. And also he can, you know, add database sources if required. So I'll just uh, save this report like this. And it will be like a report one, something like this. And it will export the record there. And if I go back to the particular uh, folder, I see this report, right? And I can always open it up using SAP Crystal Report. So I believe this video was helpful in case you want to create a blank report from scratch. In the upcoming videos, we'll you know insert data from data sources and also we'll use predefined templates provided by SAP Crystal Reports. So yeah, thank you very much.